Hey everyone, welcome back. So I know for a lot of you, the audition season is coming up. And for some of you, it might be through a recorded audition. Some of you, it might be some sort of live stream. And some of you, it might be actually an in-person audition. Um, but regardless of that format, I'd like to talk a little bit today to you about some things to think about and some things that I hope might help you and bring you some ease and clarity of mind in what can often be a challenging preparation. So there's one main thing I wanted to focus on today, which is that I think the overall most important thing in preparing for any event, whether it's an audition or a competition or a concert or anything else, is to somehow hold on to a belief and an integrity in what you have to say as the performer and as the artist and what you are communicating to your audience. So I think the problem that a lot of people run into and a problem that I myself have run into a lot in preparing for these sort of things is that, that we get very concerned and very worried about all the technical details of the audition. You know, the technical details of playing the instruments, but also of interpreting the music. Um, you know, we worry about where to vibrate, you know, how much to vibrate, what to do with our bow, what kind of colors we want, you know, what to do with the intonation. There are so many things to think about playing a musical instrument. And of course, these are very important things to think about, and we must um, in order to be serious musicians. It's essential. However, the danger is that if we overwork and overpractice all those details, we might run into the problem um, of them getting in the way of our ultimate mission, which is to be a communicator, to be a storyteller, right? So I do believe that there is such a thing as over practicing, um, especially if you are practicing in an unproductive way, you know, that if you worry so much about everything that could possibly go wrong and all the problems in your playing, then first of all, you're going to lose a lot of confidence. You're going to become very insecure You're going to become very self-conscious. And then when you come to the stage to play for somebody, whether it's your friends or an audition panel, well, it's going to be very hard for you to communicate to them in an open way from one human to another human, you know, because you're going to be there concerned about yourself really. Unfortunately, you know, you'll be concerned about what you might mess up and how you have to appear to the people that you're playing for. And this is kind of the issue, um, you know, because imagine if you are on a jury and one of the um, competitors or students comes to play and they sit down and they are very concerned about what they're doing, all the technical aspects of what they're trying to um, produce. And as a result, they don't really connect to you as the listener. You know, they don't really communicate effectively to you. They don't get the story to you. It doesn't reach you. you know? Well, in that case, if you're there writing comments, thinking about you know, what do I have to say about this person? Well, you're going to probably be thinking about some very technical aspects of their playing because you don't really have much to say about this story because it didn't get to you. So you're going to be there maybe criticizing their intonation, criticizing their choice of tempo, whatever it might be, um, because the story didn't really reach you. It didn't grab you. you know? But if instead the player comes in and say, even if they make a ton of mistakes, but they have a clear vision 
and what they're trying to get to you. Even if you disagree with that vision as the listener, as the jury member, you have to have a certain amount of respect for their efforts. You have to respect um, what they tried to give to you. You have to respect their presence, you know. And if they told you a story and that effectively got to you, well, that's great. And frankly, you're not going to be able to comment on any technical details of their plane because really they're irrelevant. What matters is the story they told you. And I think any listener would agree with that statement, whether they're a great artist or somebody who is not a musician at all. You know, really everybody comes there to hear the story. So that's the big thing I have to say. Um, just another small thing, because I know a lot of people, they're often um, worried about feeling confident, feeling comfortable and secure with the instruments um, when they get into these more high pressure situations. And to that, um, of course, the first and fundamental, most important thing is to get into that mindset that I'm talking about of, of being confident and um, feeling good about yourself enough to get out your message in a clear way, you know, so don't overwork things in the practice room to the point that you become insecure. Yeah, always remember what your purpose is. That's the most important thing. Um, but in a matter of uh, what you're doing in the practice room, one thing that has always helped me with security um, is just simply to play slowly in the practice room. You know, because if you play under tempo a lot, you give your muscles a chance to really understand what they're supposed to be doing in every given moment. Um, but if you're always practicing things quickly, they don't have a chance to process this information, you see. So I would really recommend playing everything under tempo a lot. And don't stop, you know, play the whole piece that you're going to perform, but just under tempo. You know, and you can build that up and find how that's helpful for you. The other thing is, of course, um, as you all know, uh, slow practice of scales every day. That's something that's really going to solidify your technique, something that's going to make you very uh, confident in your ability to perform in whatever repertoire it might be. So those are a few smaller tips. But at the end of the day, remember, believe in yourself. Um, you have something special to say. Uh, everybody is different. You know, everybody has a different background, a different story. And that's something really to be celebrated and to be embraced and appreciated. You know, if you can find what it is that makes you yourself, what it is that makes you unique, um, that's something so beautiful and so wonderful. And any listener, any jury is really going to appreciate that um, above anything else really. So that's my advice to you. I hope it helps. I hope it makes sense. Um, I wish you all the best of luck in all your upcoming endeavors, whatever they might be. And thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know if you have requests for the next episode. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.